Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving capacitors and AC circuits. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous theory videos on capacitors and AC circuits and capacitive reactants, as watching these videos will help you tackle the problems in this video. So let's get started. Question 1 says that by sketching graphs, compare how the current in a resistor and current in a capacitor vary with frequency in an AC circuit. Numerical values are not required on the axes. Well, for the resistor, first of all, plotting current against frequency, you should have a graph that looks like this, where current is constant with frequency. So it doesn't matter if you've got a DC or an AC circuit, current will be constant with frequency. However, for a capacitor, your sketch should look something like this, with current against frequency and a straight line going through the origin. And this shows us that the current in a capacitor is directly proportional to frequency in an AC circuit. So we can conclude for the resistor that I is a constant, and for a capacitor, I is directly proportional to F. Question 2 says that capacitors are said to have a property called reactance. Part A says to define the term capacitive reactance and state its units. Well firstly, capacitive reactance with the symbol XC is the opposition of a capacitor to changing current, i.e. AC current, and its units are ohms, just like resistance. Part B says to sketch a graph to show how capacitive reactance varies with frequency. Numerical values are not required on the axes. So your sketch should look something like this, with xc in ohms against frequency in hertz, and you have an exponentially decaying curve, a curve that goes down the way. And this shows us that capacitive reactance xc is directly proportional to 1 over the frequency, or in other words, capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to frequency, which just means that as frequency increases, the capacitive reactance decreases. And another way of saying this is that in a capacitive circuit, as frequency increases, the opposition of the capacitor to the changing current decreases. Question 3 says that a 12 volt 50 hertz AC supply is connected to a capacitor. A current of 200 milliamps flows in the circuit. For part A, it says calculate the reactance of the capacitor. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find XC. We know that the capacitor, when it's fully charged, will have the supply voltage 12 volts across it, so V equals 12 volts, and the current in the capacitor is 200 milliamps, which we can rewrite as 200 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. So writing down our equation for capacitive reactance, we have XC equals V over I, substituting in the numbers gives us 12 divided by 200 times 10 to the minus 3, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get a final answer of 60 ohms. Part B then says to calculate the capacitance of the capacitor. So we're trying to find C here, we know that XC is 60 ohms from part A, and we know that the frequency F is 50 hertz. So writing down our equation which relates capacitive reactance Xc, capacitance C and frequency F gives us the equation Xc equals 1 over 2 pi Fc and substituting in the numbers we get 60 equals 1 over 2 pi times 50 times C and then if we rearrange this for C we can cross multiply to get C equals 1 over 2 pi times 50 times 60 and this gives us C equals 5.3 times 10 to the minus 5 farads. Lastly, question 4 says that a 1.0 microfarad capacitor is connected to a 24 volt RMS 150Hz AC supply. Calculate the value of the RMS current in the circuit. Well, we're given the RMS voltage and we're asked to find the RMS current, but we cannot find the RMS current until we know what the capacitive reactance XC is. So we need to use another equation other than XC equals V over I to find the capacitive reactance first. So we can do that using the other equation involving capacitive reactance in terms of the frequency and the capacitance. So we first need to find XC and then the current I. So writing down what we know, we have XC is what we're trying to find. Frequency F is 150 Hz and the capacitance C is 1.0 microfarads which can be rewritten as 1 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. Writing down our equation then we have XC equals 1 over 2 pi FC. Substituting in the numbers we get 1 over 2 pi times 150 times 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6 and putting this into your calculator should give you an answer of 1061 ohms. Now we know XC, so we can now find the current I using the RMS voltage as well. So writing down what we know, we're trying to find the current I, we know that XC is 1061 ohms and the voltage V is 24 volts. So writing down our equation now relating XC, V and I, we have XC equals V over I and substituting in the numbers we get 1061 equals 24 divided by I and to find I we can cross multiply so we end up with I over on this side is equal to 24 divided by 1061 and if you put that into your calculator you should get an answer of 2.3 times 10 to the minus 2 amps. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.